Hello from Pennsylvania. We arrived here 10 days ago. Uh, I know you're probably thinking, Jamie, you said it ended the last video that the next video would be Indiana, but Indiana turned out to be a bust because it rained the entire time we were there. Uh, we were actually under a flood watch, which was super fun. We just stayed in the RV the entire time and then drove through Ohio and West Virginia to get to Pennsylvania. And we were camped up there for 10 nights at a place called Spring Gulch Campground, which was a really nice campground. We didn't do much. We got a PS5 like the second day we got there, so may have been playing that a lot. But we also went to Tim's cousin's wedding and I went to an Amish creamery a couple times and yeah I didn't really do much else and then we left there yesterday drove 36 miles our shortest ever travel day to our new campground Hershey which is just outside the town of Hershey which yes is in fact named for the chocolate and today we are heading into the town of Harrisburg which is the capital city of Pennsylvania so let's go we have made it to downtown Harrisburg. We just parked up and now we're heading to get some coffee. And then after that, we're gonna go walk around the Capitol building grounds and hopefully go inside. I'm not sure if you can. It said tours available, but I don't know if you can just do like a self-guided tour. So we'll see. So we just got done exploring the state capitol building of Pennsylvania. That's it behind me. Um, it was the first capitol building I've ever been in and wow, it was impressive. Uh, beautiful atrium that you walk into, everything all marble and shiny, it was very nice. And then we went down to the gift shop and I bought some postcards and Tim got us the state capitol stamp, passport, passport book where every capital building you visit, you can go and get like a little stamp. We have one for the national parks, and now we have one for state capitals as well. So as we go through the states, we can see about, I mean, Washington should be pretty easy to go to. Right. So that will probably be our next one, but that's the, the building there. Uh, we've got a, quite a few states to go through between now and Washington. So maybe we can get some more. If they're in, in our path, then yes. But in our we- path, like a tornado. Yes. We were supposed to be heading now to Broad Street Market, but apparently it is actually closed today, so that sucks. So we're gonna go to Yellowbird Cafe to get some breakfast, because Tim's hungry, and then continue on our tour with the next stop after that. I don't know if other people thought like me and assumed that Philadelphia was the capital of Pennsylvania, but it is not, evidenced by the state capitol building being here. It is actually Harrisburg. Oh, that was something I learned today. Well, we didn't end up going to the Yellowbird Cafe. We had to stop earlier because it started raining, even though the forecast didn't call for it. So we stopped at a place called Keystone Restaurant, which was a little East Coast diner, started in 1957. And I had a bagel and Tim had an omelet and it was fine. Like, I would go again. I mean, it was nothing to write home about, but it was nice and it was, Nice that I got to experience a proper East Coast and it was diner. Cheap. Yeah, it was 15 bucks. My omelet was $7. <laughs> like, I don't think you could get breakfast in Seattle for one person for 15 for, bucks. Yeah. So well, that, was a, that was a good deal. But now we are on to our we next. Oh, I also had sausage. But now we are on to our next stop, which is mainly a stop for Jamie, but also there is. Oh, it's a bookstore. Damn it. <laughs> but also there is historical value to it and then after that it's an old bookstore after that we're going to continue the tour of ye old harrisburg 
As Tim correctly guessed, our next stop is a bookstore, and it's called the Midtown Scholar Bookstore, and it's just a really cute old bookstore, so I have to go find my book. We have made it to our next stop a lot sooner than intended, because again it started raining, thanks Apple Maps, and we jumped in a lift. Uh, it was like a five minute lift, first must have thought we were so lazy, because it also stopped raining as soon as the lift showed up. So we are now at the John Harris Mansion, which is a mansion house. It was built in 1766, and I think you can go inside and walk around. I don't know if you have to pay for a tour, so let's go see. Well, it turns out that the mansion is not open to the public per se. There are three tours at 1, 2, and 3 p.m. And we're too early for the first one and we don't want to wait around. And Jimmy we... doesn't like guided tours and it's guided tours only. There's no walking through yourself and looking at stuff. Now we're going to go find the cheesesteak place. Because Tim loves him a cheesesteak. I do love me a cheesesteak. It's not, it's not a Philadelphia cheesesteak, but the reviews said that it was the best one outside of Philadelphia. So... Harrisburg, so it's close -ish. So, we'll see. Let's I'll see. My, my verdict in a little while. The authority on cheesesteaks is Tim, apparently. Yes, I am. It's got wheels like a proper Philadelphia cheesesteak. Mmm. Is it proper? The roll is proper, which is good. It's not Amoroso roll, but it's close. And yeah, it's really good. Thanks, Hubbard. Well, that's going to do it for our time in Harrisburg today. It didn't go quite as planned with the, the weather and the couple of stops being closed, but we had a good little morning, a couple hours. I just grabbed another coffee from Denim Coffee. And I got a cheesesteak. Tim loved his cheesesteak, so according to him, that was made it all worth it. But now we're heading back to the campsite. Hopefully Tim's gonna cook us up some delicious dinner on the Black Zone tonight. If it doesn't rain. And then tomorrow, we're heading out to Gettysburg. So we will see you there.